welcome back to the Man Cave. Um, so I'm going to do a, um, a quick video uh, about how I'm how I'm doing the uh, finishing, sanding, and kind of priming and and smoothing stage of getting the uh, of getting the helmet and the other parts done, uh, ready for the paint. Uh, as I said, with my project, I'm hopefully going chrome-ish um, to do the Mark II, um, but I. I I <clears throat> finished a couple of the dome sections, obviously that's that's kind of one of them, that's that's kind of all primed, um, ready to go. And obviously, because oh, I've posted obviously some pictures of that in various pages and stuff, um, it's had quite a lot of, oh, how did you do that, how did you get it to that, that smoothness and that level. So I'm going to do, so I've done that one and I've done the next part there and I've also done part of the jaw. Um, so this is the next section of the dome that I'm going to basically break this down through each stage as to how I sand it smooth first, um, fill in any holes um, or any low spots, then primer it, then sand it, flat it and, and kind of get it to that shiny level. So we'll, um, we'll start with this one, I'm going to start with the sanding and um, show you how we go through each stage. Okay so first thing I'm going to do to this is obviously try and get rid of some of these striation lines okay and flat that down I'm going to use a little electric orbital sander this is actually quite a bit of a, a big beast really it's turned all the way down so it's down to one it's loaded with 120 grit sandpaper first and that's the first thing I'm going to use to to start this so keep it moving all the time is a is a bit of a hint and tip you haven't got to kind of press too hard go towards any any feature lines don't go over them at all because you will just squash that feature out you don't want that so just kind of go up to those lines like that when you're doing it um, just to keep it just to keep that line don't don't ever go over the line because you're going to radius it out and you don't want to do that so um, the first thing you're going to do is start doing a bit of that Okay, so what you start to see is we're smoothing this area off. It still it feels quite rough, um, but it's actually got rid of the lines in that centre area. There you can see you can still see glossy lines on that other, on those other areas. So we're going to try and try and keep going and just get rid of those those glossy lines out of the way. Right, so what I tend to do at this stage, if I'm like this, and because I've got these, these edges here, this has all kind of been nicely kind of flattened out. Now I can either just keep going and going down and down and down and through to try and get rid of these, because it is kind of quite flat. You can try and kind of hit it with a, with a block if you wanted to, like a little, a little sanding block. Um, I've been using these kind of things. Um, so you can just try and, and kind of get into those areas. Trying to keep it, if it is a flat section, kind of trying to keep it flat. Um, if not, what I have a tendency to do with that kind of thing, if most of the area is, is flat, um, and even on this outside edge has obviously been has obviously been touched and obviously been sanded, but you've still got these much lower areas, um, I have a tendency to leave those in, and those are the bits that I will fill. Okay, because I can see that I'm touching either side of it, that's been sanded, to this edge has, has kind of been sanded, um, and obviously all here, but these are still obviously low. So rather than trying to go all the way down, I'm going to fill those spots with the, uh, with the smooth filler. So I'm going to carry on and do all these, and then once this bit's 
ready to to fill we'll, we'll go to that section there okay so that bit's all sanded now okay so you can see the level of kind of sanding that's that's gone on it's taken probably about 15 minutes 10 or 15 minutes you can see those little kind of fine bits of of shiny area and that shiny area is still kind of obviously the low spots of the other striations so but I don't want to go down that far because um, it could just be that you've got some really low low spots of filament and if you keep going keep going you'll have nothing left so um, so you just kind of get to a stage where, you th where you're comfortable you kept those nice lines in uh, but not going you know kind of too close to the edge probably while you see there's more kind of work to do in that area with regard to the filler but generally the kind of you know it, it's pretty it's pretty much smoothed off it's not smooth smooth by any means but but all of the generally the striations are gone so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to, how I filler this and what I use um, and then once those bits are filled these areas um, we'll uh, we'll sand those back and then we'll put some primer on it okay let's go okay so I've already filmed this bit but for some reason it's not uh, it's not safe where I've basically just blodged a little bit of filler in all of these this is the filler I'm using it's really really fine um, you can see it here it's a two pack so you've got this little bit of hardener as well as the filler itself and you literally just mix it together you can see how runny it is and how well it kind of mixes I've just got one little pinhole I'm gonna quickly fill and hopefully this will film because the last last couple for some reason wouldn't save um, very just a little card I just get a little bit of that on the end of there and just basically plop it in like that it doesn't matter if it's a bit too big just kind of dob it over flat it down and that's it and then I've just done that in all of those other little areas um, and then we'll let that dry and send it back okay so that's all sanded off now um, I went over that with the with the orbital um, with the 120 grit on and then literally and it took I don't know four or five minutes tops and then I've just changed to 240 grit um, in there as well and just literally giving it one just run all the way over moving everything together and it's almost just almost just got the dust off really um, but just giving it a little bit of a brush over with the 240 and you can actually kind of feel that it that it's actually quite quite a lot smoother now um, so what I'm going to do um, I'm just going to get rid of these bits on the edges down here um, just smooth these edges off um, and then um, and I'll just do that with a block uh, 120 and a block um, all the way over on the edges um, even though a lot of them are covered but down here you'll be going to be able to see those so I just want to I just want to smooth these edges off um, and then I'll put some uh, the filler primer on okay so first hit of primer on there as you can see there are it's just kind of highlighted now just a few couple of little still low spots where even where that kind of filler's just not quite gone down deep enough you couldn't quite tell but apart from that it's actually not too bad for a first for a first hit so what we're going to do okay so i've obviously left these this is where the ears go on so i'm going to rough these back up anyway to attach the ear areas um, but what i'm going to do is on those larger areas i'm just going to put um, i'm just going to put a little bit more filler in those bits certainly that one there okay and you can see the hole there where that's just kind of that's still low so I'm just going to put filler in there straight away straight on top of this um, straight onto those and then I'll just I'll sand that filler back and it'll take a lot of this back off but I'll sand that filler back get that down and then we'll start kind of building up the, uh, the filler primer on top of that then um, because that should anything else that you can just slightly see um, will fill up with a filler primer uh, but filler in those and that little bit there um, send that back um, and then fill a primer back on okay so those other small scratches that we just put the filler back in I've uh, sanded that back off um, just given the, the whole thing a light kind of tickle back again with the 240 grit on the on the orbiter uh, so now we're just going to give that some a uh, couple of coats of primer filler and then we'll uh, we'll go from there 
Okay, so I'm getting close to the final stages of this now. So what I've done obviously is we've just reprimed back over. It's had about four coats, three or four coats, something like that. And then what I've done is just given the whole thing a light dusting of black. You can see it is literally just a just a dusting of kind of normal black spray paint. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start rubbing this down till we get rid of all of the black. So I'm going to just use some. I'm using some 800 wet and dry. Right. So I'm just going to be getting that wet. You can start to see how it disappears with these very fine, you can see these still got very very fine lines. You keep working through those. Try not to stay in one spot. Okay, still see them there. Just kind of gently go through it. Until you start to see that that's all starting to disappear. And you just keep working that across. So I'll keep doing that now until I've got rid of all of that black on there and any, uh, any lines. Okay, so now you can see, just you can see how kind of shiny and, and smooth that is. Um, if I dry that off, um, you can see nice and smooth. Um, what this has done, obviously, with 800 grit paper, this is now very. This is obviously taken all that black guide coat off, um, but it would have left. 800 grit scratches in here that's obviously why when it's not wet it's it's dull because it's not polished it's it's got those 800 grit scratches so what you can do now is just um, if you're confident that you've got plenty of kind of filler primer left on there, you can see I've just gone through just a slight bit there so what I'll do is I'll just give that one dust coat one coat of filler primer again just the one that will fill up the scratches of the 800 grit and then another guide coat and then just take that guide coat back off with 1500 and then that's it it's done um, it should be uh, more than uh, more than flat enough then to be able to either polish or or paint so uh, so yeah that's the process um, I'll do that uh, one other coat and then the guide and then the 1500 and then I'll show you what it's like after that okay so last step um, as you can see I've got that final dusting of the, of the guide coat over the top of the that kind of last little spray of primer. I'm going to use 1500 grit paper. So just get that a little damp. And then just do the same process. Slowly removing that black guide coat all the way off. Here is just sticking in the spray. And it's already starting to feel really smooth. You just see. And a little bit of black left so you just keep going till all the black's gone yep and you can see nice smooth finish
Right, I'm going to carry on doing the rest of that. Get rid of all of that, and away we go. Okay, so that's it. That's now done. Let's just clean that off. Um, really smooth. Um, you can see obviously when it's wet it's got a lovely gloss to it. Um, I'll dry that. I'll just dry that off now. You can see nice and smooth, all the lines filled. As I say, I'm not worrying about these edges because this is where the ears go on, so um, I need to attach those there, so I need to rough that up probably for some glue um, before I kind of weld it from the inside. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Nice and smooth. No lines, no bumps. That's it. Ready for, uh, ready for paint. Okay, so that's it. That's the that's the whole process that, that I'm going through uh, for this for this job. So you can see that's the that's that's that piece all done. Um, that's the level it's it's kind of up to. Hopefully that's um, shed some light on the on the process for you. I know it is a, it's a little bit tricky. Don't be afraid. Just get in there and have a go. It actually hasn't taken that long um, from an actual kind of working on it perspective. You're probably that's that's done in about two hours um, obviously you just got to wait for paint to dry I did leave once once I put the four coats of, of primer on um, I left those overnight um, then when you do your, your dusting of paint uh, for your guide coat five ten minutes and then you can literally start sending it off uh, the, the primer is nothing special it's just Halford's filler primer uh, same with the dusting of the paint it's just Halford's paint um, the dolphin glaze is U-Pole Dolphin Glaze, which is the filler, um, and then my orbital is just a £25 orbital sander thing from Tool Station, Screw Fix, anything like that. So I hope that's helped. Um, I hope that kind of just highlights the whole process. And um, now what I'm going to do is finish obviously the rest of all of the sections of mine, um, and then that's ready then to put the undercoat on the, the black undercoat. And then I'm going to put the chrome on the top of that. So um, thanks very much again. I hope that's helped, as I say. And uh, see you in the next video.